Chicago is a theme that has lasted over 10 years, meaning that there are thousands of figures. Well, I, w I wouldn't say thousands, but there, there's, there's a lot. There's at least a hundred. So, you know, since there's a lot of figures, obviously people are going to have their favorites. Obviously, all of the figures are not going to be on the same quality as others. So, in this video, I will be counting down my top 10 favorite Ninjago figures that I own. So, um, yeah, let's, let's go. In 10th place, we have Spin Jitsu Slam Kai. I love all of the Spin Jitsu Slam figures, but unfortunately, I only have one. Fortunately, it's um, my favorite ninja, Kai. I absolutely love the um, face printing, which um, is right here. Boom. Wow. Yeah, face printing. I love it. I also love his other face. Bang. Anytime um, Lego gives us new movie faces, it's an automatic win. Only slight problem with it is that there's no band aid, but you know, that could be easily overlooked. I love his arms, I love the printing on his torso, his legs, you no know, more his soft legs, but it's it's fine. And the Forbidden Spinjitsu um, head wraps are absolutely wicked. The gold and trans orange are my favorite comper. Uh, 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 <laughs> The gold and trans orange are my favorite color and combination of all the ones we have gotten. So yeah, 10th place, FS Kai from the um, Pachitu Slam sets from season 11. Uh, next. In 9th place, we have Hot Take, season 8 Spinjitsu Masters Kai. Yeah, I know a lot of people absolutely despise the Spinjitsu Masters figures. I. Unfortunately, do not. I love the Jutsu Master figures, and this is my favorite one. I love the um, I love how it's primarily black, with um, his main color being a secondary color on this figure, which I think is an absolute great combo. I love the torso printing, both on the front and the back, and I like how it's reflective. And though I think the movie maps are pretty mid, I think it looks absolutely great on this figure. Face print is, you know, the usual movie face that we've been getting since 2017 and we have yet to get a brand new default one, so it's fine. But anyway, yeah, face print is still fine. Overall, fantastic color scheme, just an overall pretty great figure. Hot take, yes, I know. So, we're gonna move on. Next, we have Red Visor from, um, Prime Empire season 12. I don't have all of his accessories on him because I usually put those in the bin, but with all of his accessories, he's a fantastic figure. With all of his accessories, he's a fantastic figure. I absolutely love his torso printing. I love his leg printing, his hip printing. I love both of his faces, both um, this one and this one. Really wish this expression had appeared in the show. It's really, really, really freaking cool. I love the little error for or four thing on his, um, torso and his back torso printing is pretty cool also his armor piece is awesome time and time armor pieces are really really cool so yeah anyway i love this figure love it so much that currently my main mc skin is a crystallized version of him so yeah we have master of peak fiction oh, i'm sorry master of the mountain nia and the color and combination on this figure it's absolutely great the silver and gunmetal gray go absolutely beautiful the um plate on her chest is awesome i love the little um blue cloud details i love the fur i love um just all of the printing legs being reused from season 11 are just fine armor is really cool back torso printing is also fantastic and um as i mentioned just before um let me get the armor yeah this um brand new army piece is really cool. Unfortunately, don't have the accessories. Oh yeah, and so is this helmet. Probably the best specialized helmet mold they've been doing recently. Better than the Digi helmet and much better than the scuba helmet. Overall, really great figure. Next up is Master of Peak Fit. Master of the Mountain Season 13 Lloyd, who does have his accessories because he was on display and not in my bin. 
So yeah, torso printing, the little diamond details on this torso, absolutely great. His um, chest plate, cool. Straps all over him, cool. Just all of the detailing on him is so cool. And he's one of the few figures this um, wave that actually get, you know, new leg printing, which is appreciated. Yeah, it's just the detailing of this figure. It's just so cool. Back printing is also really cool, though a little bit, you know, kind of plain compared to Nia's. Overall, really great minifigure and the best Lord minifigure in my opinion that I own. Next. Next is the main villain of Master of Peak Fiction. Oh, so, sorry, it just, so, it just slips so easily. Um, Master of the Mountain, the Skull Sorcerer. My favorite villain from the show, and one of the reasons being is his absolutely baller design. I love all of this detailing on his torso and skirt dress piece, whatever this is. The symbol on his chest, so cool, the little green tassels. Has a door, it's not part of the minifigure, but you know, I had him on display, so yeah. His wings are absolutely cool, such a nice feature. And even though his mask and, um, you know, mask hat kind of piece thingy is not accurate to the show whatsoever it is very cool this is such a cool mold actually amazing oh yeah and i mean his head print also is not accurate whatsoever i'm pretty sure i mean we haven't seen him you know in his skull sorcerer form without his mask but probably not accurate still pretty awesome Back torso printing is also pretty cool. Unfortunately, he doesn't have printing on like the skirt piece in the back, which I'm pretty sure Unagami did, and he came out in a wave before this one. So it's kind of weird how he got back printing and a skull sorcerer didn't, but you know, it's fine. It's, it's, it doesn't really matter. Overall, a great figure of a great character from a great season. Did, did I mention I like Master of the Mountain? I don't think I made it obvious. I mean, so he's so cool. Let's do a theme. Isn't that, isn't that, is that not a banger? Oh, um, uh, next, I, I guess. Next, we have Island Suya. The best Island Suya, in my opinion. Why? Once again, because of the colors. Um, this color of blue, the middle gray, it goes so absolutely wonderful together. Just the design of the torso and legs. Try with the card in the background. The design of the torso legs is just so cool. I love the little wave detail right there. I love all the um, straps and um, you know padding and stuff. It just looks so cool. It's the best detailed island suit in my opinion. Fantastic back torso printing too. Her symbol being in the middle of a um, little wave thingy here. It's just it, it, yeah, it's just it's just cool. Yeah, very, very cool. Look at it. So cool. Overall, a really great minifigure that could have so, so, so easily been top three if instead of looking like this, it looked like this. I don't know why they didn't include Nia's headband when literally every other ninja except for Zayn in a way had a headband. You know, the headband hair combo piece, but eh, you know, it's fine. You know, it's, she, she looks fine without it. So yeah. Um, uh, n next figure. Yet another Nia figure. Wow, who would have saw it coming? Not my fault, Nia figures literally slap. Sorry, guys. Um, sorry, guys, sorry. Anyway, yeah, Nia's 10th anniversary golden suit is the only 10th anniversary golden suit that I have, and I'm proud to say that because this is literally the best one. Torso printing is phenomenal. Leg printing is great. And, like, this, this whole area right here, like, um, this, this from the shoulder pads up, is so nice. It, I just love the way it looks. Nia's um, whole look right here, the headband, the mask, her facial details, the golden, it just looks so fantastic. The back printing too is also really freaking great. It's um, similar to her um, island suit, how there's waves splashing through her symbol, but better. It's so, so, so cool. So yeah, golden anniversary Nia from the Legacy Wave is phenomenal. Surely, there will not be another Nia minifigure on this list, right? Surely. Ha, huh, thought it was gonna be another minifigure. I bet, huh, um, you're wrong. It's Legacy Overlord. 
I made a video on my um, original channel just discussing how great this figure is. So, um, yeah. Oh, freaking wait a minute. Okay, I didn't know it was just right now, but um, the torso is actually the torso from the um, newer Legacy Overlord one and not the one from this actual figure. So I won't be talking about that torso. I replaced it because I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure at the moment I believed that combining these two torsos made the ultimate overlord mini figure, which I still do believe. I mean, come on, this looks absolutely awesome, but I will not be considering um, you know, this torso when I'm talking about how good the figure is. Neither the helmet, I just went to some big because I considered it to be the best looking overlord mini figure I can make. So um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so overlord figure is great. The head is absolutely superb. Magnifique. The um, upper torso is so absolutely cool. And the ghost tail, awesome. This figure is just the by the book's definition, in my opinion, of awesome. It's so cool. Awesome. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's legendary. So yeah, I, I really don't got much to say. It's just a super duper 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 cool figure. And my favorite um, legacy figure ever. So, you're probably wondering. What could possibly be number one? Yes, a Nia figure. Nia isn't even my favorite ninja. She's my third favorite ninja. Yet here I am going off about how phenomenal her suits are. Is that really my fault? No, that's Lego's fault for making them so good. This is my favorite ninja Lego figure that I own ever in the history of forever. Hey, enter, enter the clip. I got the video. This right here is my favorite thing ever. In the history of forever, I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this. From head to water toe thing, this figure is phenomenal. The um, little water things coming out of her back, her arm. This one wasn't originally transparent. I made it transparent because the thing looks better. Her torso printing, her face printing, her hair being um, translucent. Tra tra translucent. Yeah, it, it's just so so great. They could have just stopped right here and called it a day, but they didn't. They added this um, back attachment, and it just adds to the figure so much. And um, looking at the back prints, it's so cool. Once again, the water is coming, um, swirling around her symbol, and it just looks so cool. She doesn't come with water blast pieces, I just added that because I think it just completes the whole look. So yeah, just look at this hair piece, dude. It's spectacular. It's so cool. Best hair piece ever introduced for Ninjago. It's amazing. So yeah, that's NRG Nia, which technically isn't NRG Nia, but literally the box calls it NRG Nia. It isn't even NRG Nia in the show. It's just her connecting with the sea. So yeah, this is um Sea Bound episode 15 Nia. That's that's what I'm gonna that that's what I'm gonna call it. Sea Bound episode 15 Nia. Turn of the Tide Nia. Wait, no, Niad Nia. But this isn't her Niad phone. Is it Niad or Nia? Uh, ah, for, forget it. Just, just, just. So yeah, there we go. My top 10 favorite figures. Figures of all time. I honestly think each of these figures have um, something that makes them amazing and leaps and bounds ahead of um, literally everyone that's not on this list. So, yeah, I think I should mention that this is my opinion. It's not objective facts, but you know, yeah. I mean, technically, uh, it is objective facts, but I have to say it is an objective fact so people don't get mad. With that being said, I will see you whenever I feel like making something again. Goodbye.